Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. I actually thought this was never going to happen because this is the January 2023 box and yes, there is no December 2022 box yet. They're still trying to send that out so that'll be coming out eventually. But first we're doing the January 2023 box. Didn't think this was going to happen because it got shipped on the 9th. It is the 16th and it is coming from, I think I said Oregon. However, I had no tracking updates. Like I knew it was shipped that day because I have informed delivery on USPS, but it has been stuck in transit since the 9th. So I was like, oh man, because I know it normally at least updates once at the distribution center and then once in my local post office and then again it'll say out for delivery so i was getting no update so i was like oh man the last time this happened a whole shipment i think from lit joy was stuck actually at the like origin facility so i was like oh please don't let this be a thing because i know a lot of people are having issues with their tracking for this box but apparently just nothing updated because this morning at like 5 a.m i got a text update that said uh, it was received at the um, at the post office here and it was out for delivery. So I was like, okay, I'll take it. Don't love thinking that it was uh, lost for a really long time, but I will take it because now it's here. So anyway, let's get into this unboxing. Like I said, January 2023. I do know what the book is. I have already seen spoilers because it seems like everybody has gotten it before me. So yeah, spoilers are going to happen. I only know basically what the book looks like. I was good about avoiding like box items. So let's, and I have, I did open it earlier because when I picked it up off of my front porch, I lifted it up and it felt like literally nothing was in it. So I was like, oh my God, did I also get like an empty box? <laughs> but no, everything is in it. I'm just, yeah, I don't know. There's just, I guess a lot of light stuff in this one. So January, 2023, Journey's End. I love the artwork. Little Crate always has one of my favorite like artwork things. So spoilers on the inside and next month. So we will talk about that at the end. First item is a fanny pack. Oh my gosh. This is hilarious. Honestly, <laughs> this is so funny. I can't believe this is a fanny pack. I guess you can also probably put it on as like a crossbody bag because I'm not a fanny pack person, but it's very nicely made. The Book Eaters Society. We eat books, not brains. Oh my gosh. And I love this book too. I love the book eaters so much. So oh, I'm going to have to figure out what to do with this because I want to use this so bad. The Book Eaters Society. We eat books, not brains. I love that. <laughs> okay, I'm obsessed with this because I, I just really, really love this fandom and I really hope the author continues. But it is, when I say nicely made, this is something like you would find at the store. Like this is like, like $30, $40 worthy of things it is so nicely made so I'm pretty impressed with this I say $30 $40 because I don't actually know how much a fanny pack is <laughs> but that's what I'm just like guessing off based off of like a small uh little satchel like a little purse so that's what I'm <laughs> guessing that is I I feel like you could make this into a crossbody bag I'll have to mess with it and see what I can do with it but oh man fanny pack that is so funny next item Oh, I'm so sick of getting these. <laughs> I'm so sick of getting these. Although we haven't gotten one in a while. Illumicrate cutlery kit inspired by Lord of the Rings J.R.R. Tolkien. And it's very pretty. This is a heavy one too. Like I'm very curious uh, how much is in here. It's a very nice label. And I mean, it's it's really nice. Like I, I can bring it to work. It's very pretty. I just have a lot of them. It is very nice. It's like I said, it's very heavy. So I'm curious what all is in here. Yeah, see, I've had some like this, but I do, I do like this. So they're very, I mean, they're very nice. They're very elongated. They're very uh, fancy feeling actually. And it is metal. And this one says 11 C's. The spoon says second breakfast. It's a big spoon. The, oh, it looks like it comes with, I don't know what this is. Oh, a chopstick. There's two chopsticks in here. The chopsticks don't look like they say anything. 
Yeah, the chopsticks must have been just too small. And then the knife says supper. So they're all fine. I mean, it's it's a cutlery set. It's fine. Not the most exciting thing, but it's usable and I always appreciate a usable item. Next item is a Lumicrate card holder inspired by Saga. I am not a fan of Saga. I know a lot of people are. Saga is just not... I just don't enjoy it. It depresses me. Ah, okay. I was gonna say, I recognize this material. Okay, I did see this. I didn't know this came in this box though. I won't buy any more books. This is actually really nice. And lying. <laughs> okay, I do really like that. And I do like the cat. I did read like two or three volumes of Saga and it just wasn't, it was just too depressing for me. But there are aspects of it I really enjoyed, and I think this is fantastic. This is really fun. Anyone who is a big Saga fan is going to absolutely love this, so that's a really good item. Okay, there is another item. Two items? Here is another fabric-looking item. Oh, okay. It's... I actually can use this. I've been looking for something to put my pens in. I'm not really an artist. But, um, I can put my pens in this. Is this like an enchantment of ravens or something? See, the design is one side, but the actual, like, thing is the other. Like, it's flipped, which is odd. Oh, it smells weird. I think there's something that might smell in the box. So you're supposed to put, like, your pens and, like, your art supply, brushes, anything in here, and then they sit in there. Sit through here, sit in there, and then you roll it up. You can probably do it in a much cuter way, but you just tie it together and it keeps your pens in a pen roll or pencils or whatever you like to draw with etc so i can use some of my i can put some of my journaling pens in here but it's nice it's like some canvas material i don't know what fandom this is like i said it could be an enchantment of ravens because there is a raven and it is very uh naturey it is very naturey but i don't know otherwise because if the, if the raven wasn't there i would say Cruel Prince, maybe, because it's got some Cruel Prince vibes, but I don't know. I think there is another item. Oh! See, this is what it smells. This just smells like wood burning. Davabad. So this, this probably is the Davabad trilogy. So that's cool. City of Brass, I believe. That's really nice. And this is, like, legit wood burn. Like, you can even smell it. It's really weird to smell it. It's actually making me kind of, like, want to pass out. Because <laughs> I'm just, like, whipping it. Uh, it is also messing with my phone's lighting. It's freaking it out because of the color change. But this is really, really cool. I like that. I haven't read this series yet, but it is on my list. And I have the first book upstairs. No, it's in here. I have the first book down here somewhere that I really want to get to. I think that was all of the items. So let's get to the book. I really am sad that they're not doing the bags anymore, at least for the US customers. I'm really sad about it because the book was just there at the bottom. <laughs> so I missed the like reveals, but uh, yeah, I'm holding the book. It's very pretty. And let me undo the wrapping because I think it'll look better not in the wrapping. Okay, first we have the incredibly long author letter. It is both front and back. That is impressive. I don't know if I've ever seen an author letter be this long. So I'm definitely going to look at this. I always try and read them before I read the book because I think that's really fun and I like seeing what the author wants to tell you. And here is the book. It's very pretty. It is very pretty. So I actually knew that this was the book because like I said, I've seen it before. I did not see the edges though. I only saw the cover and that it was like this almost like nighttime version of the cover and it's uh, I feel like the camera does not do it justice it is so beautiful like it is it is absolutely stunning and then the back is so pretty let's see it's, this is I mean this is a beautiful cover Kissin ripped her sword out through the god's side, and a stink of blood and dank water, and the shrine behind the waterfall shattered. The god made no sound as her flesh turned back into the current and sank into the river, releasing it for the town and village it fed. 
to thrive or fail, but she managed a last barb to Kissin's mind. When Midrin falls to the gods, your kind will be the first to die. I don't know like anything about this book. So anyway, sprayed edges on the top and the bottom. Nice like purplish blue. It's like an indigo color. And then stunning. It reminds me of the artwork that's on the back. I think it is basically like a cut of the artwork on the back. It looks so good. It looks so good. I'm so impressed with this. Oh, it's just so nice. Illumicrate just does such great additions. Oh, oh, and it just keeps going. I didn't see what was under here either. This looks so cool. This looks very D&D-esque, uh, which I really appreciate. I am a D&D &D nerd. I love that. I think it looks so good. And then the back, oh man, is stunning. I don't know how many times I can say stunning in a video. Okay, and then when you open it up, you have some beautiful end papers with it signed. Oh, it just looks so good. I think the back is the same, yeah. The back is the same end papers. And yeah, that's it. There's nothing extra special, I think, in the book. But that's just so nice. This is, it's so nice. Let's talk about what this book is about. You are not welcome here, god killer. Kissin's family were killed by zealots of a fire god. Now she makes a living killing gods and enjoys it. That is until she finds a god she cannot kill. Skeddy, a god of white lies, has somehow bound himself to a young noble, and they are both on the run from unknown assassins. Joined by a disillusioned knight on a secret quest, they must travel to the ruined city of Blenradin, where the last of the wild gods reside, to each beg a favor. Pursued by demons and in the midst of a burgeoning civil war, they will all face a reckoning. Something is rotting at the heart of a kingdom, and the only and only they can be the ones to stop it. I think it sounds so good. I am slightly concerned because there are animals on the cover and there's some animals on the back. I think there's like a jackalope. But I don't like animal deaths. It is something that will make me stop reading a book, which is why I had I was not going to pick this up on my own. When I found this was a uh, Illumicrate was doing this, I was a little skeptical, a little skeptical. But I'm hoping that if the gods are animals, they're more human-like. Because if they're, like, talking animals, it turns them more human-like and then I'm good. But if you're killing, like, sweet little angel animals, it's not going to happen. So I am very, very nervous about this book. But it, it, doesn't, it doesn't sound like there's animal deaths. But we'll see. We'll see. It looks, it looks and sounds really, really good. So I'm very excited about this. Okay, let's talk about the spoilers. Although there really isn't any spoilers except for, I didn't know what the art case was after. So David Bad wooden map, map designed by Nicolette Caven, border designed by Niall Grant, City of Brass. Secret Society bag designed by Vicky Lester, Forensics and Flowers, inspired by the Book Eaters. Middle Earth cutlery set designed by Jane Tibbetts or Chatty Nora. Mortal Sorrow pencil wrap designed by Abigail Spence or at S A Spence Art. Pencil wrap inspired by an enchantment of ravens. I got it right to tr safely transport all of your art supplies. I I'm impressed with myself for that one. I can't believe I got that right. Oh man. Okay, lion card holder designed by Francisca Stern or at Cover Dungeon Rabbit. Features lion cat from Saga storing your cards. Perfect for when you go book shopping. And then our featured book is God Killer. The Illumicrate edition has an exclusive cover, fold end papers, digitally printed edges, full color printing on the hardback by LA Draws, a bound in author letter. It is not bound in and is signed by the author. So this apparently was supposed to be in the book. I wonder if this, I don't know, because I don't know, that's odd. Yeah, so this was not bound in. <laughs> that's interesting. I wonder if they got the books and it was separate and they're like, we're not gonna worry about it. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it either at that point. Okay, my favorite item is gonna be the fanny pack. I don't know if I'd ever use it, but I love the design on it. So I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the items were fine. I feel like they're okay. The book really is what knocked it out of the park. Least favorite item is probably the cutlery set just because I have so many of them. It's cute, but I have so many of them. Okay, spoilers for next month. February's theme is Into the Fire. The Illumicrate edition is going to be signed by the author and has 
fully exclusive cover and digitally printed edges, full color printing on the hardback by Mona Finden, end paper artwork by Grace Z. Huart, bonus content and bound in author letter. Items are inspired by the Poppy War, Legendborn, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, and there's a fandom neutral item as well. We've included some items subscribers love as well as a new item we haven't done before. Uh, this box will contain our next book jacket inspired by the Poppy War. I really need to read the Poppy War. So that's what that art kind of looks like. But that was the January box. I keep wanting to say December because we skipped it and it's really throwing me off. But this is the January box. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really am excited to start this book. It looks really, really good. I'm still really nervous about it. I hope there's no animal deaths, like like super violent animal deaths. That's, that's like the key. So that's all I'm nervous about. I think this is a pretty good box. Uh, yeah, it was fine. There wasn't anything that really super, super stuck out to me that was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. But nothing, I didn't really like dislike anything. So I feel like that's a win. <laughs> if you get if you like most of everything in there so i uh, hope you guys like this unboxing make sure you subscribe for more unboxings and more content make sure you do all the things like the video comment down below what you thought about this box and what you want to see in the future from a and yeah that's all i got so i will see you guys in the next video